and welcome. You're watching DBMN TV. This is Mona Lisa Rumbai, bringing to you the news and events from Megalia. Here are the headlines for today. Clarion receives the centenary block of high secondary school Clarion. Pioneer Carbide adopts 10 TB patients for six months. KSU inspects Ding Paso PHC, multiple flaws uncovered. And Arden retaliates against the accusation made by Ache. Another news in detail. It will be a memorable day for Clairyat and the entire East Jantha Hills district on the 30th of March 2023. A centenary block of Clairyat Higher Secondary School was inaugurated under the name of Father Joseph Fanton SDB, the founder of the school, by Father Mijo Michael, the General Counselor of Salation Congregation in charge of South Asia. Present in the event were Father Johannes Suar, Senior Priest of Clairyat, Brother Solomon Swear, the principal of the school and other religious and school students along with their parents. The program started with a welcome address from the principal of the school, Brother Solomon, and religious were warmly welcomed along with the invitees for the celebration. After different performance by the students, cutting off the ribbon was done and unveiling of the memorial stone by Father Biju Michael. Addressing the event, Father Biju spoke on the arrival of the Salishan congregation in the region and the desire to develop the society, especially in education. He urged the residents of the region to tread on the footsteps left by the missionaries in serving the poor, the needy and youngsters of the society. Speaking with DBMN TV, the principal of the school, Brother Solomon, exclaimed that it is a great blessing for Clairyat and the whole of East Jantha Hills that they received a new school with a spacious compound which could accommodate a huge number of students, unlike the old school when it was impossible to admit many students. He added that the construction of the centenary block was started since the year 2018. Solomon, along with Father Mark, the Vice Principal, 
and all of you, dear teachers and non-teaching staff who have been fully involved in the realization of this dream. We are also happy the head ministry and others are also represented here because the hard toil of many people have gone into the creation of things of this nature. And it's beautifully finished. So thanks and congratulations to everybody, even those mentioned here, who have been involved in this great wonder that has been created. And as Father George uh, uh, mentioned, the dream is still bigger, and I'm sure there is a dream for the whole campus, which we will hope that the current team continues to carry forward so that in a few years' time, we have a totally renewed campus. We must remember we are celebrating the Centenary Memorial, which means 100 years ago in 1922, Salishian missionaries were sent from Europe to come here, to India, to the Northeast of India. And it is Father Fandi who precisely here, the two brothers who got very seriously engaged in board in order to create the seeds that have produced so many fruits. And now we are taking a step forward, imitating them in the generosity with which they came from abroad. We were not their people if we were to think of that. And yet they came in the name of Jesus to be generous with all of us. And today we are called to imitate that same generosity to work for all people so that we give our very best to others. And this becomes a symbol of that same dream of the first missionaries of Salesians who came to Northeast India. And we are making a memorial of their visit and their arrival 100 years ago is today another step to remind ourselves we work for those in need without counting the cost, without counting who they are, or without calculations as to who or where they are in need. But to imitate Jesus who came down to us, who needed his salvation and saved us even with the price of the cross. I'd like to leave one short message, even though I had a chance to already break the word and the blessing. Share this story the other day. We've all had an experience of trying to drink, let's say, a cup of tea, and somebody walks close to us and hits us, and we spill the drink. Now, a person was standing with a cup of tea, Somebody came, hit, and this incident took place. And so, if he were to say, I spill tea because he hit my elbow, would that be true? Would that statement be true? I spilled tea because he hit my elbow. True, he hit my elbow, that shook my hand, and therefore I spilled what was in my cup. But not necessarily that he caused me to spill tea. Why? Because I could have been drinking coffee instead of tea. I could have been having water in my cup instead of tea or coffee. And what I spilled doesn't depend on him. He causes me to spill something, but what I spill depends on me. The story is to tell us that tough times will come for all of us. Times that will shake us, disturb us, like the hit on the elbow by somebody.
The Office of the District Tuberculosis Officer, in collaboration with the Pioneer Carbide Private Limited, on the 30th of March organized a program in PHC Bernihat to distribute food items to TB patients. The aim of the program was a part of fighting against tuberculosis in the state and in sync with the government to eradicate TB through the Pradhan Manti TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan. The Pioneer Carbide Private Limited company Bernihad adopted 10 tuberculosis patients by providing nutritious food for their strong immunity to fight against the disease. The company will provide the patients with food for a period of six months while they are still under treatment. Present in the occasion includes Dr. E. Kalwing, District Tuberculosis Officer, D. Renghang, representative of the company Pioneer Carbide Private Limited, Dr. J. R. Marak, PHC Bernihad, Lingdo STS Nongpo TU, FJ Dingdo DPC, NTEP, and students from Women's College Shillong, along with St. Edmund's College Shillong, who had also lighted up the program with their performances. Dr. Kalwing exclaimed that the act of volunteering of people and private companies to adopt TB patients has brought a lot of change and improvement in controlling the spread of the disease and boosting the immunity of the affected, helping them getting cured from the disease. Kasurkar India kalau pelik perdah akan kendai terik jom usap tebar arhajar arpoar. Kini ke program kelong bangin yerap ikin nongpang TV kepada dang di dawai. Dah kebangi tingkun nanyi adop ikin nongpang TV. Nama kita dengkam ya kajing bam kepada temet hakapor kepada kiki di dawai. But um, they can bring in I get a nutritional support. The Kajing Bam Kapate met the key. Henry Ru, Ladangila, Ban I come the key. Yau Tunung Pang, Lani Kiba Haying, Hakapor Badang di the way. But Kumjuru, Banyarap the key, Yaka by test diagnostic. But Kumjuru, Nakabaikali, Baki one Naying, Saki Hospital, Bakin one chim the way. The Henry Kambun. Kita lahir yang ni, kita adopt yang ni ke skim, kita jadi donors, kambun, kita ai, kita nutritional support, kita pilih ni, kemat, ni ai kita kejimpam, kita temat, kita nongpang tibi, ni tip bagi nongpang tibi, harga por badi, kita dawai, kita nongkam kejimpam, kita temat, nama ruk dawai ruk long ubah klien, tiki nongkam sa kejimtei, kejimpam kita temat, kenang bagi nongpen plot yaki. Di kampung ini kita numpang tibi ini tip kewan nak hingga beduk. Nak kata kata aku mula kuat bor banyo ya ka jengbam ka pati met hak bor bagi bam hak bor bagi di ya kita kita way. Wat lagi kita way kita long kita yo a Henry ka bam ka di ni patla reban aiki ni don ni ke skim ke next che poshan yo jena ka pergi yo numpang san spa tengka si penai hak bor bagi di. Dawai TB kat bagi dang di Dawai TB di kapal kloy eh kapal di Dawai TB kita ini real benai di way numpang TB uyo lay hajar hago bau di Dawai ya ka and real benai ki drug sensitive drug susceptible to tuberculosis dan ni lau di Dawai pat ki drug resistant to tuberculosis pasong kat kum ka regimen dan ni kapor kapal u u di Dawai di sana sepak tengkar ni ayah nak kesukar nak program juga NTP Henry kini ke sana sepak tengkar kamla pun penbiang ya ke jengtei ya ke jengbam hakamet jengu sana sepak tengkar pila pun yuk ayu menta mula pun yuk ayu di nak kata ke daw nama pun ayah kambun ru nama pun kini numpang tibi kesukar nani nak ada program ke NTP N di EP program kenom lah panai kampun ya kata hampangi kencan sepak teka uai nongpang TV ruka poi lagi keluar nomor badang pun di nongpang TV hakali India jungi ya kang imdai bangin kencing imdai rupat bangin syarik aling in slow di langkawai in yai bersaru syaki wai Leaders of KSU, Maureen Keneng, Menriang, Nonghali and Deng Paso had inspected the PHC in Deng Paso after the complaints from the residents of Deng Paso. During the inspection, multiple flaws were found from the PHC. 
As per the information restored from the staff of the PHC, it is evident that this PHC lacks doctors specialized to treat patients. Ambulance is not available to drive affected people to better treatment centers, whereas a driver is available. The job is done by reserving auto rickshaws. Patients as well as staff use the same chamber in the PHC. JJ Lungkhoi General Secretary KSU Minryang Circle urged the high authorities of the health department to provide the PHC with required equipments of treatment for the residents at the earliest. He also requested the MLAs and MDCs to assist the needs of the PHC Deng Paso so that people will not face any inconvenience in seeking medical help. <laughs> ขอบคุณครับเมื่อเรียนโรงพยาบาลปฏิบัติสุขคัดอุตสาหกรรมเซลล์ลงทุนเรียนกิจชูสมรรถเรียนสักเกินคัดอุตสาหกรรมไลท
nak tahu ki ki pat ba bat ki basngap ki basngap bahaya ke ai ngi kwa ban yalam ya ke ai ngi kwa ban ki menta ngi ki menta ban pen bah ban review ke reservation policy bu syarat ingi ke roster system menta ngi kwa ban ki syua nama claim ke jing pen bah ya ke reservation policy larangi pen terkam ke reservation kam tam ke roster kan kata asibone ke don kam syua ban pen bet ya ke ni Agar beri dia bagi jengkel terput, ni ni orang ni masa ya kan sorkar bahkan jengkel terput, kemudah kami beri bahkan jengkel terput sehingga jangan nongkon dong. Bagi kita lade penweng, laweng lut, kita kita jangan nongkon dong baru. Tukar lu kita bagi isi teng. Kini kita itang kiri sim kebu, kita kuat bahkan pensutuk bakal ayu kuat bah. Bat keladon ke debate, halor kene, hapo light core, balap pelong dah ke door bar pelun juga light core, kal light core door bar pelun. Bat hari ni kesini yang saya kita jangan lapat ayu kumnu bagi jengkel kita jeng, kal pelat isi bon kita nong nak jeng. Kentur juga muda. Nanti don kita muslihat ya gini. Kita don kita jing bisni ya kita kamp kita bangat train atau apa juga. Bagi kita kita beri kita bisni kela aku no ban pensniudur ya kita jing train kita jing. Bar hadian bagi kita batai start kelam dasar tu kasniu. Nanti tarau kita orang kita don kita jing orang hak tin paling. Too many cooks spoil the broth. Kalau mud dalam bun kiti tan hak eset katiu. Kita jengta jaga bahkan bang ke kethang, jaga bahkan jaga bahkan bang ke belat, jaga bahkan bang kasniu no. Di don kita muslihat yang ini tang nama bagi Shion Shimet Yu Arden Kimpua bahu bahu Arden Unyok Burom. Tenteri ngam Shimet Yu Shiteng Yu Kemuda. Lada don kita orang bangai Yu Shiteng coach kemat dengan challenge debit bagi para marui hagenu nuko jaga bagi kuat. Hap ban penklang ya kata kejeng dawa kejengi. Ni hap ban penklang ya kata kejeng nyekun kejengi. Daka bagi pat ba kini hap ban peni bagi ai kejeng kerjaan. Kini kembali kejeng yaki jonga Shimet. Ni ni iya kerjeng e, kabami nak kene ke reservation policy ke pemerintah. Tiada mara kita hari ini sampai tu lagi sinem. Barah hari ini begini lebih syarat ni agni sungtu ki don ki benda ki ba ki nong elam kerjeng hari ini ki port kumbang la keren esik lele kerki. Namar le esik la abang nong kata kerjeng sosial ting balar kim tre ki ki numio iya kata kerja jelal lejong kumbang ki kimi inti. Kalau abang pulam kata kerjeng kosni kerjeng ki. Tenre ke e ke bangi ko? Kalau ngeladon kamban penbek. Ban penbet kat kum kajing don pai, mo kajing don pai jengi kik hasi bat ki para garu kalai per. Te ya kat kum kajing don pai pensiunung rim ya kan deka ka reception policy kajengi nanta kampen jenai shushu. Nama kita ni bentak kita kan deka reception policy kam address komi ki PWDs. Lain kita ki differently able persons ki bangang alat keren apa ini don pai kawan. Kini kerjim dan kebaha nak kata kerja reservation policy. Bat si pun kui 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 pengiran dan kamban penjanai dan depan penbahas isu ini dengan reservation policy. Dan mar kata kau kipat pak ki ki dan kamban ai kerja kerjaan. Bat ya kini ingin habhi ban persutu. Ingin mende pengi persia ya kata kar ya kar rai jong kai yang kai seri. Mereka ni kuat ban orang yang sorkar pen temai penbahai ya kerja reservation policy. Anda lada pun penbahai pun penjanai ya kerja reservation policy. Kandai ke policy kaba kaba moh kaba bahar rentik lang ya baru. Tukar nombor dan suka kita kerja ni. Kita kerja ni. Tapi dia kata kapan tangi haban leh supaya ba. Ingin haban itu supaya ba. Bangi don kam. Bat ni don kam ban ayah kata ke kaba ni orang ke ke jengkawa kaba klay. Moh nak leh jengi supaya ba. Kenapa kerja sorkar kam senam? Lesi ke sorkar ban tangi persang ban orang ba. Oh kani lesi kalau ban dia tangka jeng. Kamu bengin mentoi. Kan ini kami dekat dekat kencing tawa, kencing don kam, kencing eh, baka baka jaya beri kaya kendo. Kamtam ki kon sama lagi je. Keren hapo kaya yang dorbar tau ain. Kencing persia kaja kami dekat roster system. Kencing persia kaja ni kalau ba kencing penteri kami dekat roster system hak kat kum kani ke polisi ke pemerta. Kadon kencing tu ko hak kani ke reservation polisi ke ba kat sokar ke penteri kami. Tadon kami ban penbet cua ya gini, ke reception policy, ban review, ban penbah. Kenapa baka tak ke policy kan umlong kaba no siliang lani kaba penduk nong yenu yenu. Tadon kata kadek ke nong rim kaba ngiye. Tebat on dah lada ban penbet ya kata ke reception policy. Nama kita kencing tu, nama kita kencing tu ko kita bon ke bangal ada ban keren hapok ini dorba kawan. Te day nama kita kata awang ngasau ba lada ke sorkar kam penbet ya kani ke reception policy kan don kencing tu nong kaba kraw yeni kum. Kam tam yang ini sekarang kita time bagi sama lagi juga. Mungkin ada orang kalau bah kiri ban sangat bahaya ke jengkren ke juga hapo assembly. Nado usang hado kod. Lada kem yok kem harga sen ke menikong kem sah arsen lagi sen. Nada kem sah ayah ke jengkren ke jengki. Ke jengkren hi ke juga kalau shine. Ke ayah ke bangak kau aban kentu hi ki kalau bah 
kin sing ba ya ke jingkren ta junga hapok ba yin dorbar kawai bat ki para garu ke jingle ke jingkel ba sorka ke jingle ke jingkel ba pan ba ya ke reception policy ke jingle ke jingkel ba ki ai kam de ke jingle persa ya ke jai pen dorbar te ngange ba tole se menta don ke no pen shit ka diang gamon kila ban Sutu bakla, ndai ka sapoi ka por bakir ka sutu bakai ka bangi ngi, ngi kren ka ika bangi dawa ka daya kahop, ka baki pai ba ka rukim dai ki ba nga nga tip ha nga don ki polok garu ki bobon ki sutu bangi kren ya ka linti, ka ni ka mbi ka jing kwa aji por ka jingi ban tu ya ka hop ka jing ki, ka mangala da wong ngim kwa ban tu ya ka hop ka jing nu jing nu ru, ta ndai ya ka hop ka jingi ru ngi kwa ka ban pene ba ban ya da ka, ka ta ka daya ka nong ri bo jing, ta nga mbi ba ka nong ka jing e, <hesitation> bangi lek, sa ka ru hel zbon pan pan ya ka pati The Office of the Deputy Commissioner, Ribhoi District, in collaboration with the Institute of Hotel Management, IHM Shillong, on the 30th of March, arranged a career counselling for the youths in Ribhoi who are in a perplexed state to choose their career options. As it is now, it is found that there are few number of students who opt for hotel management when it has high scope and not only doctorate and engineering. Present in the program includes MB Tongper, ADC Riboy District, students from Alpha English High Secondary School, and Abe Waswet, a teacher in the school. Shampang Pasa and Jolin C. Langsti were instructors from IHM who explained to the students on different opportunities hotel management has to offer. We all from uh, IHM, uh, Pasa from <coughs> IHM Hyderabad, man from IHM uh, Gohati. So all of us also did the same course, what you are about to do. During our time, going for hotel, man hotel management is something which people never heard of. What is this hotel management? People will say, you're going for hotel management to become nongshit. You'll go there to become you know, waiters. Okay, let us see. Because all of us, I think, we were thinking, should we go for engineering? Should we go for competitive studies? Should we go for medical? Should we go for... Everybody has done that. So let us do something different. So, we decided, again, you are very fortunate now that we had a career counselling. During our time, we just played with Alpha. We said, let us just try. It might just click. So, somehow we went and uh, joined hotel management. I will tell you how to go about it. Then, as the years by, we have worked in hotels in India and abroad. And then, came back to Shillong and then uh, been teaching there more than a decade. Why am I mentioning this? It is because we are the very fortunate ones to get a job in a central government institute, be the local. We are very few locals there. All our faculty, all our professors are from outside the state. So do, now we are saying to all my friends who did medical, who did doctor, who did PhD, we are saying, what are you doing? I am working in a central government institute. What are they still waiting? Okay, uh, nowadays that even the people who have finished their master's, PhD, they are sitting at home or working in just for to keep ends meet in smaller institutes or smaller schools. Some of them also, we know personally, people who have got their PhD are working as a lower divisional clerk in an office. PhD holder, what to do? Job opportunities. Does it present themselves? When there is an opportunity, say five posts, 10,000 applicants will be there. Isn't it? Out of that also you know how, how the recruitment procedures, you have to write exam, learn recruitment procedures, takes a long time for you to, uh, to be selected, let alone get the job. So when you talk about hospitality, right? This is something not new to any one of us here, being locus. Uh, for example, I come to your place. Madam, what is your name? Yes. Josephine. Okay. So Josephine, after this program, me and ma'am, we decided, okay, let's go to Josephine's house. Okay? You've already reached home, he said. Okay. You will see that our degree is being given by JNU. You know JNU? <coughs> JNU? The university which is there in Delhi. Okay? So, this is the golden chance for you to get the degree before our degree has been awarded by IGNU. You have heard of IGNU, right? So now they have signed an MOU with JNU where you will be getting your degrees from there. 
Also, we have one of the largest number of best hotel management institutes in the country. Okay, uh, we are ranked 14th uh, by the CEO globally all over the world. Our IHM is ranked 14th. Imagine globally all over the world. Then you also have uh, career opportunities in IHM. One of them being that we have come back as a teaching faculty in IHM. Just one of them. I will show you in the slides. You will see what are different career opportunities and also the pamphlets which we have given you. Okay? Uh, there as well it has been mentioned all the different uh, aspects which are there in hotel management and how to go about it and what are different career prospects uh, for you there. So, IHM Shalom is a uh, premier institute which has been set start up in uh, 2002. Till 2013, we were there near Bishop Cotton Road. And 2013, we have shifted to our own campus in Mokasiam, Mokyangya. Okay? Our campus is 21 acres. Okay, we have uh, a faculty accommodation, hostel facility there as well for students from, uh, you know, from, who are not from the hometown. And we also have students who are from Shula who are staying with us as well because it's easier to commute and we'll be giving you lots and lots of assignments. Okay, so you'll have to work all day. If you travel only, you will lose time and more or less it is a, a group uh, team uh, research or team uh, assignments which you'll be doing. So you'll be needing to stay together with them. So different courses which we offered. The first, you will see that the uh, three years BSc in uh, hospitality and hotel administration. Please don't be scared with the nomenclature of BSc. Okay? Uh, these courses are open for all the students from any stream. Doesn't mean that just because the nomenclature shows BSc, only science students can join. Okay? So arts students can join, your commerce students can join. I was a commerce student, I did it. Ma'am was an art student, she joined hotel management. Okay? On the 29th of March, a 25-year-old woman gave birth to quadruplets in Tikrikila, West Garo Hills. But much to everyone's dismay, the mother passed away in Jengdit Grey Village along with one of her newborn. As per the reports from a reliable source, the woman who had given birth to the quadruplets was identified as Rena and Sangma from Jengdit Village about 4.5 kilometers away from Tikrikila. One of the leaders of the Garo Students' Union, GSU, Ziku, Balgara and Marak, criticised the remark made by the VPP President, Arden Basayomoy, who had proposed in the Legislative Assembly the evaluation of the reservation policy of the state, which remained untouched for over 50 years. The GSU leader claimed that the decision made by the High Court is perfect in every way for the state. He added that this hiccup created by Arden will bring trouble to the state and questioned Arden for what reason did he bring forth the subject in the first place. Arden, on the other hand, clarified all misunderstandings, stated that he does not reject the roster system, but he just wants the improvisation of the reservation policy. Uh, you know, when we got the statute uh, on 1972, reservation policy had been implemented, but there are so many loopholes. Uh, that's why most of the educated youth have been deprived from the government job. That's why we demand to implement a rooster system in Meghalaya as soon as possible. <clears throat> According to us, mechanism, this mechanism very transparency and it will give uh, equal opportunity to the unemployment educated youth of Meghalaya. Uh, we don't know why the, some politicians want to review that mechanism. Even the Honorable High Court seen nothing wrong in this uh, mechanism. Uh, we think that kind uh, that kind of statement given by the senior politician is regretful. Uh, you know, uh, giving such kind of uh, statement is just to get to gain the political mileage only. So, viewers, that is all we have for you today. Until we meet again, thank you for watching.